I guess um, off the back of that though, those, I guess, clients or um, you know people that you coach that uh, have only access to certain pieces of equipment, right? Which is which is obviously a big one because as we know, one all gyms aren't created equal, as well as nope. all equipment's not created equal, right? So it's like we see these high level, um, I guess, highly intelligent social media figures, guys like Coach Casson, guys like Paul Carter, you know, hypertrophy coach um, Joel Bennett, like you know, or Joe Bennett, sorry, they. <laughs> Like they will put up posts and stories and stuff like that, educational content that, you know, how to make something in a generic gym maybe a little bit better or how to bias certain things with using bands and that kind of thing. Yep. So, so I guess, how does that sort of fall into this? I think it's a, it's a meaningful metric to factor in. Mm-hmm. But remember that those personnels or that personnel, or those people Mm -hmm. are also working with 1%. And I think that's something to be very aware of. It's like, I don't know about you, Mm -hmm. but I did pretty all right on normal machines for the last 12 years Mm -hmm. and built a pretty good foundation. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of people kind of jumping so far into these weeds and into the nuanced stuff that they're forgetting to get fucking strong. Yeah. And this was what we kind of spoke about earlier. And, and when I was talking about like the name of the game that we kind of work in is strength training. Yes. Last time I checked. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you know what everyone is forgetting? Strength. Getting stronger. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't necessarily mean that in terms of like, you don't have to run around trying to squat 400 and you don't have to be the strongest dude in your gym and you don't have to be the power lifter that ha- is so immobile that they can only get under a bar, a, you know, from a bench squat and deadlift perspective, but mm-hmm. understanding that building this generic strength or this base level strength that we have to understand benefits us into all of these other realms. So we know most clientele complicate the basics so fucking much. Yeah, yeah. It's like, let's get our movement patterns down. Let's understand mm-hmm. how to squat. Let's understand how to hinge. Let's understand mm-hmm. how to do a push and a pull. If we really wanted to go back to the very, very basics, you know, coming kind of from the lines yeah. of pull from Ian King, like that's kind of what it was. It's like yeah. most people can't do that. So yeah. why are we so busy trying to chase these one percent if you can't even do that? In my in my personal opinion, like when I look at clients from that perspective, it's like let's start there, build your foundation or build your base of your pyramid, is what I call it. Mm-hmm. It's like the more I can build the base of the pyramid the higher I can build the pyramid yes, and the, the higher I can get to those 1%. Yes. So that's not a deflection in your whole question. I will get there. So <laughs> no, my, right. my opinion is we need to go back to the basics, understand that the basics work, understand that you need to get really, really good at the basics. The problem mm-hmm. is the basics are fucking boring. It's true. Okay. The basics are boring. It's the same thing over and over again. It's like, mm-hmm. look at all of the elites. Do you know what they do really well? The basics. Mm-hmm. every single time so we we so f- like busy trying to shortcut it and get the 15 seconds of gratification and kind of like get there as fast as we can that's like if you just spent the amount of time fucking around and trying to find the perfect resistance profile with a band to make to make the prime seated leg extension on your hammer strength yeah it's like just get really good at doing the basics yeah. and then we can get there mm-hmm. that's kind of my opinion Also, 90% of the time, people don't have a good grasp on resistance profiles because they don't understand camps. They don't understand Mm -hmm. that machines are all different. They don't like most people look at a machine and they just go, oh yeah, like it kind of pivots here and it does this. (laughs) And that's like, I changed the pin and that's it. I can change the pad. I know how to move the pad up higher up my shin. But do you know that like, the hammer strength versus I don't know, the Cybex leg extension, yeah. the cam actually sits in a different it's position. position yeah. So if you're going to try and alter the resistance profile, it's like you understand you have to do it differently. Yes. And people will look at you and be like, oh no, I don't understand that. <laughs> or just get better at, at programming. Understand yeah. that not everything needs to be hit. And I think this is the other thing that we can kind of go into. It's like all of these guys have started speaking about resistance profiles in like short range, length and range, mid range all the time. It's like, I've, you know, assessed a couple trainers programs mm-hmm. and every session, like a leg session has a mid range, a length and a short and a, a this. And like, I'm just like, whoa, fuck. 
Like yeah. you don't have to hit everything in the same day. Like mm-hmm. if you understand how your progression works and how your macro cycle works over the week, it's like, hey, like, you know, we can just do a mid range and a lengthen today and then hit some shortened on two days time. <laughs> Legs is we squat, we, we squat, we RDL, we hack squat, we leg extension, we leg press. And they're there for three hours and they're absolutely fucked. And you sit there going like, hey man, like take 60% of that (laughs) and move it to your next day and you'll be okay. Like more effective. We understand like from a sets per session day, it's like we're going to get, you know, no chunk volume if that's a term you use. I don't know. To summarize everything I've probably just ranted about or gone into, I don't know, just splattered around. It's like, I think we overcomplicate a very simplistic form for mm-hmm. half a percent to one percent of the gains that we sh- could be getting without getting the basics right 